Samsung is planning some big and I mean big things with the Galaxy S24 Ultra next year. It's going to be a real breakthrough. From a rumored 144Hz UDR display to an incredible design, we got some more insane early leaks. Samsung might finally do the thing that they were planning for for quite some years, something that is very similar to a DSLR camera, enter variable zoom. According to Isonumar's Galaxy S24 Ultra could drop the 3x zoom lens that we have seen on Samsung flagship phones since the Galaxy S20 Ultra. Instead, it will only have one 10x zoom lens and you may be thinking why is Samsung doing this? Well, Samsung may be looking to bring a variable zoom camera lens that can go from 3x all the way up to 10x lens. As I've explained before, this is very similar to a typical DSLR camera lens and because of this, you're gonna get optical zoom quality from 3x all the way to 10x. This is impossible to achieve on the S23 Ultra because it has a fixed 3x lens and a fixed 10x lens so in between, you lose the quality. So it makes perfect sense that Samsung is doing this on the S24 Ultra as the technology might just be ready it's gonna require a mind-blowing engineering on their part but if they can pull it off it's going to be the proper real breakthrough in terms of smartphone cameras now apart from the variable zoom we might also see the return of the variable aperture that samsung once did with the galaxy s9 plus yes according to a wild rumor samsung might bring variable aperture of f 1.2 and f 4.0 with f 1.2 you can get incredible low light image quality thanks to all the light that's able to bring while at the same time having the flexibility of having the f 4.0 aperture with the implementation of variable aperture we could see some good improvements over the s23 ultra's low light capabilities in case you don't know the newly announced xiaomi 13 ultra has a variable camera aperture system from f 1.9 to f 4.0 so it's entirely possible for samsung to do this as well for their s24 ultra next year now this next one is absolutely insane the galaxy s24 series should be using the snapdragon AJ3 chip according to their agreement with qualcomm which is the absolute win for the customers and what a win it could be because Snapdragon Agent 3's GPU might be 50% faster than the GPU on the S23 Ultra's Agent 2. It's said to be even faster than the unreleased GPU we're going to see on the Apple A17 inside the iPhone 15 lineup. Considering Qualcomm is the king of smartphone GPU performance right now, even beating the iPhone 14 series with the S23 Ultra, it's entirely possible that they can do the same thing to the iPhone 15 series by bringing an insanely capable Adreno 750 GPU for the Galaxy S24 series. Let's not forget that special agreement that Qualcomm has for Samsung, they're gonna give the absolute cream of the crop special treatment to the S24 lineup and it's gonna be an even bad news for the iPhone 15 series. I can't wait to see the Galaxy version of the Snapdragon Edge Gen 3 next year for the S24 lineup coming to all the S24 models around the world according to the agreement, no Exynos BS.